माई नेम इज अभिषेक एंड वेलकम बैक टू एमबीबीएस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टर्मिनल स्टेट्स ऑफ अ डेथ इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी रेड अबाउट द पीरियड्स ऑफ अ डिजीज एंड वट आर द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डिजीज एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ माई डिजीज वीडियो ओके इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेड अबाउट द फोर पीरियड्स ऑफ अ डिजीज दैट इंक्लूड्स the latent period then comes the prodromal period then comes the manifestation period and finally comes the outcome period in the latent period what was there the disease was affecting a body then in prodromal period there was non specific clinical signs or the manifestations were showing in a body and in manifestation stage there were just like a Uh, uh, proper typical symptoms arises in the body, and finally, the comes outcomes of a disease. Today, we are going to discuss about this outcomes of a disease that leads to death, or the terminal states or the final uh, conditions of the death. So previously, we have already discussed about the outcomes. The outcomes were like it can be favorable as well as it can be unfavorable. If it was favorable, it means the person is recovering or uh, getting cured from a disease. And if it is not getting cured, if the condition of acute condition of a disease is converting into a chronic condition, then we can say that of course it's an unfavorable condition. And that unfavorable condition may leads to death. And that during the period of death. there will be certain conditions that occurs in a phase wise manner and that phase wise manner is already divided into terminal states that we are going to call that of course it's a complete process or it's a complete complex process that leads to decrease in certain elements like there will be decrease in blood pressure there will be decrease in metabolism okay there will be loss of vital functions of the body and finally there will the person will get unconscious or decrease of consciousness okay these four factors these four factors will occur during the terminal states and how these four factors gets modified during the process of death we will now learn okay so this terminal states is divided into four categories this four categories how it's called it's called pre agony then comes the agony stage then comes the clinical death then finally comes the biological death we can differentiate these two from these two by a simple manner that if the person is dying concentrate on the word the person is dying and we can uh, divide these two in the condition like the person is already dead okay so in this condition pre agony uh, and agony we will first differentiate these two then we'll go with these two how the pre agony is divided from agony conditions pre agony what happens uh, when a person is uh, already ill and uh, we already know that it's an unfavorable condition uh, and the doctors knows that uh, yes the person is going to die then doctor will see certain clinical manifestations in the person through which he can uh, uh, he can understand that of course the person is undergoing the pre agony stage of terminal states how the person or how the doctors knows it so in pre agony what happens the time period of uh, this critical signs of this uh, decreasing in blood pressure or decreasing in metabolism this all these things occurs from few days to few hours it occurs from few days to few hours and there will be starting of decreasing in the vitally important organs like our respiratory system like our cardiovascular system it will start to less it will become slowly uh, less functional okay then then comes in agony stage what will happens this condition time period it lasts for few minutes the person lasts for few minutes in this agony conditions 
in which there will be a vi uh, violation in deeper level of this vitally important organs like our respiratory system, cardiovascular system, it lasts for very few minutes. In the uh, consciousness, in consciousness of uh, pre agony stage, there will be present, the consciousness will be present, obviously the person is dying and uh, the there will be little bit of uh, disturbance of vital important organs so the obviously the uh, consciousness is present but in case of agony the consciousness starts to fade away it means the person is slowly 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 losing its consciousness then what happens in case of blood pressure of, of course we have read uh, we have already discussed that as the blood pressure decreases so as it is the first stage so the diastolic blood pressure the diastolic blood pressure will be above 40. Diastolic blood pressure means the uh, resistance offered by the arteries uh, or arteries. Okay, this diastolic blood pressure obviously above the 40, above 40, and in case of agony, it will be less than 40. And from this condition, which as the diastolic blood pressure decreases less than 40, there will be capillary stasis the capillary will unable to provide that much amount of resistance due to which the person will start to suffer from hypotension decreasing in blood pressure okay then considering the breathing type in case of breathing type in agon pre-agony state there will be certain terminal states of respiration there are, there are certain kinds of terminal states breathing that we will uh, learn afterwards this this occurs in pre agonic states the terminal states breathings are like chain strokes breathing bayard's breathing kusumol types breathing in this uh, types of breathing what happens there will be higher condition of hyperapnea and small apnea conditions in and finally the person will decrease its breathing it is associated with a uh, periodical it it comes after certain periods then later on it's associated with some periods so this breathing type is known as periodical breathing type and in case of agony stage there will be gasping type respiration okay uh, so next we are going to differentiate between this clinical death and biological death how how we are going to differentiate between these two conditions as we have already studied that and we have considered that these two substages have divided from this pre-agony and agony in case as the person is already dead. So we will consider the person as dead and if the person is dead, the dead person is further divided according to two periods. First one is the clinical death and then second comes is the biological death. The person sustains for 2 to 6 minutes in the clinical death and after this 2 to 6 minutes the person will be called as biologically dead. So if you are going to recover the person, if we are going to give the life to a person who is already in a clinical death condition, we will recover the person. So the recovery takes place in between these two stages. In between clinical death and biological death, we have to give CPR or any kind of reanimation method to make the person survive. So it's written that this stage is reversible, but this stage is irreversible. Why is it so? In this condition, the person can be recovered from death or from death, and we can uh, we can make functions. Uh, we can make functionable the uh, respiratory system or cardiovascular system but once the person reaches this biological death it's irreversible it means the person can never can never be recovered from this condition okay obviously as the person is dead the consciousness will be absent biological death also absent in the blood pressure there will be no blood pressure and breathing conditions there will be complete circulatory and breathing arrest due to which obviously the death will occur. Then what's so special in biological death? How we are going to differentiate from biological to clinical death? In, in case of biological death, what happens? There will be death of the neurons and that happens within 3 to 4 minutes after the clinical death. 
Then after the myocardial cells dies, it takes 15 to 20 minutes. Then after the uh, our uh, muscle cells, organ cells, tissues, then they they get died. So this conditions is known as biological death. If we will recover a person, if we will recover a person by restoring its breathing and heart work after the death of the brain cortex, it means after clinical death and after three to four minutes of neuronal damage, the death of the brain cortex that takes place and that otherwise known as coma. If we will restore the person's breathing and cardiovascular system after the death of the brain cortex, the person will be called as socially dead person. Why is it so? Because as there will be the death of the brain cortex, it means most of the interactions are due to our uh, cerebral cortex and uh, that regulates most of our conversations or any kind of social activities and as there will be death of the brain cortex of course there will be the person will not be socially interactable that is the reason why if you will restore the breathing and heart work after the death of the brain cortex the person will be called as social death so next question comes as if there are two stages of clinical death and biological death how we are going to recover the person or how we are going to make the recovery so that the person will get alive uh, so next we are going to read about the uh, recovery stages that uh, should be done in between the clinical and biological death to recover a patient or recover a person from the death it's a recovery is a revival of the organisms that's a complex resuscitation measures so these measures or the steps should be taken in a such a manner so that we can recover the person from the biological or clinical death this renewal of the vital organs that means there will be hard work and respiration we have to restore these two important vital important organs uh, to recover the person it it is done by three procedures that is restoration substitution and support it is given by an important uh, scientist that is v o negovsky it's uh, it's that scientist that provided this recovery method uh, that should be provided in such a manner we can uh, in which we can recover the person from death in case of restoring what happens we will give the person cardiac muscles like cardiac muscles heart defibrillations or artificial respiration so that the person can uh, begin its heart work or respiratory if there will be any kind of blockage we can uh, restore that thing what do you mean by substitution substitutions means if there will be any kind of problem with the blood transfusion or uh, blood circulatory problem then we need to transfuse the blood and in case of respiratory we have to give artificial lung ventilation we have to provide uh, artificially uh, so that there will be ventilation then first to support this all renewing process we have to give the hyperbaric oxygenation what do you mean by hyperbaric oxygenation it means the oxygen partial pressure would be uh, so high uh, that the vital organs will respond to the increasing in oxygen partial pressure and in that response the person will get recovered from the death so uh, this was all about our today's topic uh, i hope you like my video if you have any kind of doubt please write in my comment section so that i can know and uh, i will try to make that uh, videos on that topic uh, which you write in the comment section thank you so much for watching my videos